The IHA's Distinguished Service Award is intended to recognize CEOs who have brought uh, leadership and value to the industry and to the IHA as a whole. And I think Dan Evans exemplifies that kind of leadership. He has been a tremendous ally and leader within the association and has made a significant um, contribution to healthcare in general. When you talk about Dan Evans' leadership at IU Health, I think it's important to start at the beginning. And I'm sure 15 or 20 years ago, it never entered Dan's thinking that he would be the CEO of IU Health at some point. He didn't come from a hospital background. So he brought a different thought process, a different approach to problem solving uh, to the leadership in the hospital. And Dan's leadership has been very influential in the city of Indianapolis that you know, IU Health is world renowned. Dan was instrumental in forming Clarion, the merger of University Hospital, Riley Hospital for Children, Methodist Hospital. When Dan became president and CEO, we were a three hospital health system located uh, solely in downtown Indianapolis. And over the course of his tenure here, um, we've become a statewide organization. Today you have a system that covers much of the state and is the largest in the state. Uh, it's extremely successful both in terms of its size but also um, the benefits that it's provided to the community and to the research and education efforts for the Indiana University School of Medicine. So um, all of that really uh, reflects Dan's leadership in a very significant way. I think just Dan's philosophy and just Dan as a person um, in leading Methodist or IU Health uh, has been very community focused. There are a lot of layers to Dan that people don't always get to see. And one of those layers is his fervent commitment and um, depth of understanding about patient safety and quality. Well, Dan's obsessed with patient quality and safety and he's really engaged our faculty about how do we do that even better. The investments that IU Health has made in our research programs have resulted in new types of therapies that aren't available elsewhere in Indiana. Probably Dan's biggest contribution is his persistent focus on patients and patient safety and patient quality. So, so the patient has been first and foremost for Dan and has really helped provide that leadership for the system. It's also around people and the employees of IU Health. It's reflected in the leadership team that he's assembled from his earliest days as CEO all the way through to today. I think Dan is very deserving of this award, primarily because of all that he's done for the citizens of Indiana, especially those um, who have the least. Dan deserves this award for a number of reasons. I think uh, both his leadership over his system and his leadership in the healthcare industry in Indiana, and from the IHA's perspective, his leadership uh, in our organization. I think Dan has made a tremendous set of contributions, not only to IU Health, but to the state of Indiana. He's really been a leader here in a number of regards, both as the chairman of the board of Methodist Hospital and as the president and CEO of IU Health. I just want to say congratulations, Dan, on an extraordinary career and the impact that you've had um, on the system, on our community, and on our state. It's remarkable. Thank you. Congratulations on receiving this IHA award this evening. Best wishes to you in the future. Thank you for your service to this community and to IU Health. Congratulations, Dan, on this great award. Uh, you're highly deserving, not only for what you've done for IU Health, but what you've done for the Hospital Association, the Patient Safety Coalition, and everything else that you do regularly on behalf of patients everywhere and the citizens of Indiana. Congratulations. Dan, I've been so fortunate to have had the opportunity to work with you for two years, but uh, believe me, we're going to keep working together because we have a lot of work still left to do. Congratulations. Dan, congratulations on receiving this award. It's a fitting recognition of your leadership and a token of our shared esteem for what you've contributed to the IHA, to the industry as a whole, and to me personally. So congratulations, Dan. Thank you.